In this video, I will show you how I installed and used Cloud3 with Langchain. This model integration can be used for your RAG applications to make it stronger. What makes Cloud3 fascinating is that right now it is beating out GPT-4 and Gemini Pro Ultras in every single benchmark out there. Side note, I run a consultancy business. I help companies to integrate machine learning and AI. Or if you're new to NLP and need help learning, book a time with me. Now back to the video. Now Cloud3 is a family of models that is made by a company called Anthropic. And Anthropic is an organization that creates very, very strong large language models with safety and security at forefront. And recently they released a new model called Cloud3. Now they're supposed to give more expressive and engaging responses compared to other GPT models. And more importantly, they should have less hallucinations compared to other models in the market according to the testing. They did a needle in the haystack evaluation and got a 99% accuracy on recall. And this will massively, massively help out my application that I use. Most cases, when I use Mirag application, it retrieves the right passage, but then the GPT-4 model cannot take the correct information from that large passage to give me a good response. And hopefully this will solve it. Not to mention also reduce the hallucination problem that we tend to see on these chat applications. Okay, now I'm gonna stop yapping and let's actually implement it. Now I'm going to take you guys along on how I actually install Langchain Anthropic package and how to use the Anthropic Cloud3 model with Langchain. First things first, what we do is we install our package. We're gonna open the terminal and write pip install qnu Langchain Anthropic. Sorry, I miss I miss I misspelled actually. This should be Anthropic not anthropic copy so here just to make sure yeah so that is installed now we're gonna create a file called app.py we are going to first import our packages so first we're going to import os and i'm going to tell you guys why exactly i thought so from langchain i don't know why i just keep on misspelling things these days but chat anthropic that's one we get to use we're also going to use uh, langchain prompt which would be strong langchain core dot prompt yes, yes. Once we've got that done, we're going to first import probably one of the most important aspects of the tutorial is actually getting the Anthropic API key. The Anthropic API key can be accessed from the Anthropic web page, which I will link in the description down below. And the actually get a $5 free credit that you can use to experiment with. So it's definitely worth checking out. So it's completely free. So Anthropic oh, API key. There you go. We have that and now we are going to write chat we're going to initialize the chat anthropic model to chat actually the github copilot is quite annoying me right now so we're just going to disable completion for the moment to chat anthropic we'll write temperature and this can be determined by yourself if you want to but we're going to keep it default okay. we're going to write model name and we're going to write cloud 3 opus with a specific date and then we're going to write system we're essentially going to fix the system prompt. System equals to. And then we're going to fix the chat prompt template. Again, I'm taking these examples from the LAN chain examples. Also, the link for that will be in the description down below. Quickly take this. Now we're going to make a chain prompt chat. We're going to do a chain dot invoke. And this is quite fascinating so the language model will essentially act as a translator between english and other language now we're going to input language input language english and we're going to have output copy this i'm quite lazy so output language right swedish over here and our prompt or text that we want to translate will be i love pine because why not and now what we're going to do is wrap it around a print statement to actually know what this is doing. Now, after we run this, we will see Cloud3 Opus in action and actually verify if it actually works. Here seems to be a syntax issue. There you go. Now it should work. Run. Okay, this seems to be a problem with the chain. Not exactly sure why. Right, that's correct. I actually haven't passed on the API key to the chat model. So what we will do is we will take Anthropic API key over here and we're gonna pass this variable that we've created. And now that should do the trick. But again, I wonder why it's not working. That's interesting. Okay, so I rechecked it and apparently couldn't get access to the API key. So I had to reset the API 
inside the environment. And now we can again wrap it with the print statement that we had before. So we, put, so we will be able to see the output from the chain. And now we should be able to get a Swedish output of the text I love Python. Here we go. That's the Swedish translation of I love Python. Now this is a real-time response of using Cloud3 Opus. And according to the documentation, you should be also be able to use Cloud3 or Cloud3 Sonnet. So I'm just going to paste it over here and it should work seamlessly. And yeah, there you go. That's how you use a Cloud3 model from Anthropic using Langchain. Now, hopefully this will be helpful for you guys to integrate Cloud3 into your RAG pipelines or other personal uses of this RAG-based models. If you're still watching, you're the top 7% who actually makes it this far. So thank you. If you're interested for integrating AI into your company, or you just want to learn about generative AI and LLMs, make sure to book a time and let's chat. Now you've implemented how to use Claude 3 with Langchain. Now the question is, which model should you actually use? Now there are two different types of models and the usage will be dependent on what you want to use it for. The first one, we have Opus. It's the biggest one, most powerful one, and you should expect to solve some critical reasoning and solving issues. And on the other hand, we have Haiku. It's the smallest one, the fastest one, and the cheapest one, but it will not be as good as the Opus. And then in the middle, we have the perfect ideal balance between intelligence and speed. And it's most likely, or according to them, it's most useful for enterprise use cases. Now, all three models have a context window of 200,000 tokens, and they were trained until August 2023. Now, which one you will have to use is something you gotta figure it out for yourself, but they will, or they actually have support for multiple languages, and also they're able to process images and vision problems as well. 